Hello, Virgo viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. Um, I just dyed my hair. That's why my hands are like this. So just bear with me. But uh, this is just basically a love reading. Just whatever your person wants to say, you know, what are... What's going on here? What do they what do they want to tell you? What are they holding back from you? What do they want you to know? Okay, so we have I want to talk to you, but so much time has gone by. I'm not sure how to start up a conversation. I want to be open and honest and vulnerable. I want to tell you my secrets. So this this person wants to get things out in the open. They want to have a deep heart to heart conversation with you is what I'm getting. And if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth, uh, please just send me an email. I do paid private readings. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com and that email is right below in the description box. And please like and comment and share and subscribe if it resonates to you. I'm trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm. So even just leaving a heart comment really helps me because it gets YouTube to promote my videos again. So I really appreciate the engagement. Um, so we have, I had a huge epiphany. I've come so close to messaging you. Yeah, this person really wants to talk. It's like this person realized something. I had a huge epiphany and I've had, I've come so close to messaging you. I start typing, but then I end up overthinking and deleting everything that I wrote. Um, I can't figure out who I am or what I want. I feel like in the past, I feel like they're coming out of that energy where they might not completely know who they are, but I think that they know that they want you at least by now you know I think they still have some more soul search soul searching to do but I feel like they they don't want they want to do the soul searching but they don't want you to move on in the meantime we have them afraid that you've moved on by now yeah it looks like there is like this element of, of it looks like some time has gone by because we have I want to talk to you but so much time has gone by and then we have I'm afraid that you've moved on by now so for some, I feel like maybe you guys haven't talked in quite a while because it's like they were in this phase where they didn't know who they were. They didn't know what they wanted out of life. They had a lot of um, shadow work that they needed to do that they were delaying. And I feel like now they've started doing the shadow work and, you know, they're having as a result of that, it's like they're having these epiphanies and it could be someone I'm feeling like for some of you, maybe like a mutual friend told them how you felt or they said something. But for a lot of you, I just feel like it, it's more just them changing their perspective and them doing the healing work and then looking back and, and you know, having these these realizations about the connection. My life is busy and chaotic. I feel numb. I feel like I'm running on autopilot. I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. Sometimes I cry over you. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. Yeah, there's a deep desire. I feel like you're this person's safe space. Because it's like there's such a deep desire to... to it's like they don't want to make small talk. I think that's another thing. It's like they don't want to just just message you and just make small talk with you. They want to have a conversation, but they, they're not sure what to say because they don't want to say too much, but they don't want to say too little either. And they're just they're not sure where you're at at this point in your life either. So but they, it's like they, they want that vulnerability. You know, we have I want to be open and honest and vulnerable. I want to tell you my secrets. I feel you pulling away from me. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. I've never felt this way before. I'm aware that you're my soulmate or you're my twin or, or twin flame. You're the one. I looked for love in all the wrong places. Yeah, I feel like this person just, I feel like they just miss you. I feel like this was almost like a best friend type where it's like, they just, it's like they just miss the connection. They miss talking to you. They miss just being part of your life. Um, I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are, that you will end up dating someone else. Part of me wants to just come knock on your door or intentionally bump into you somewhere that I know that you'd be. There's so much that I want to say to you. Yeah, there's just such this deep, there's such a deep desire here of just communication. They just, they want to talk to you. They want to be open with you and honest and vulnerable. They want to tell you their secrets. They want to tell you about these epiphanies that they've had. They want to tell you, they want to share what's going on in their lives. They just, they, they want to, well, they want things out in the open with you. 
Um, I've been spying on you. I observe and notice every little thing about you. I read your social media posts. I'm being watched. There's people around me. I want to reach out, but there's people around me. That could be for somebody. And I regret letting you go. I never should have left. So, yeah, the, the energy I hear more than anything, I just get communication. It's like this person just really wants, they have so much to say. I feel like this person could even be writing down things that they want to say to you. It's like there's so much just in, in multiple aspects of life. It's, it's like, uh, you know, having a conversation about the two of you and what went wrong and just the connection and just, you know, seeing if there can be closure or if things can be fixed just, you know, putting things out in the open, like letting, you know, talking about how you, how each other, how you feel, how they feel. Um, I feel like it just in general, they want to update you about things, you know, if they've gone through work changes or, um, maybe like moving, move to a new location or something good happened in their life. It's like, they really want to share the good news with you. Um, and they just, they just want to talk in general, you know, they want to have just, you know, just catching up and having these conversations, but they also want to have the deeper conversations as well. It's like, they don't want to make small talk, but they're just not sure how to start the conversation. So, so yeah, that's what I have for you. Um, if this resonates, like I said, please like comment, share, subscribe, and my email is below if you'd like a private reading. Thank you for watching.